and see. Subscribe on YouTube. Hey, hey everybody. everybody! Welcome to another episode of Tranny and C. I'm Tranny. This is C. We have another kind of uh, super sketchy super video. Super sketchy old mini bottle video. Yeah. I think we've kind of picked what we're going to do today yeah. already ahead of time. The um, mini bottle experiment is the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, we originally paid $20 for about 50 mini bottles. Um, but going through them, and they're all super old. Yep. They're all like 50, 60, even 70 year old mini bottles. Yes. And um, But some of them are super, super sketchy looking. Yeah, like um, we've actually like they've... split them in half to ones we're probably never going to try because we might nose them. We got to nose them at some point, but... And so, of this bag of like, I don't know, we have about 30 left in this bag that are like slightly less sketchy. Um, one of the most legitimate looking bottles we had was this, sorry, mini bottle of Bell's blended scotch. So that's... What In the shape of a bell, no less. Oh yeah, it's really pretty. Looks like nice and clear and all that. So, oh. Scotch mm -hmm. yeah, Find some scotch good. scooch. Good. Some scotch scooch. Anyways, that's what it looks like. This is a 50-year-old bottle. So. And then we have a modern bottle of uh, Bell's blended scotch. So we're gonna do the the old old versus new comparison. First thing we have to do is crack open this mini bottle that's 50 years old and make sure it's not skunky. So um, this one looks like oh uh, might be. Is that split a bit? No, maybe not. Well, we'll know when you pull it, it'll go. You know, like do the thing. But the thing that's kind of funny about it, it says old Scotch whiskey that is 100% Scotch whiskey that's been distilled and blended and bottled in Scotland. Well, that's good news. So that's right. Because that should be the Sounds requirement. Right. And it also says it's extra special. So well, that bottle know. particularly is kind of extra special. Yeah. Our, our last bottle we had from the mini bottle bag smelled a lot like body odor. This one smells pretty good. Okay. Okay. This is, it's all things are looking promising. Yes. Um, we do have our spit glass here. Yeah. Uh, because we will be very careful with the initial tasting of the mini bottle because it may, we don't want to, it's, you know, we never know if we're going to survive these mini bottles. I'm going to pour the original one in their outside glasses and just get it in there and out of the way. Sure. And then you can... Oh, attempt to crack Attempt. This. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Some of them are very... Oh. It did sound like a crack. It did, it did, you did feel crack. feel crack? Yeah. yeah, I felt it. So it's never been opened before, which is good news because some of them... In our bag of tricks here, look like they've been opened before. Okay, here we go. Pour a little bit into yours. A little bit into so Fifty mine. year old Bell's blended Scotch versus modern. What's Maybe the just, color? Yeah, just, just get it all in there. It's very interesting opportunity, and these bottles, when they've been sitting so long, I think one thing we've learned is that they need time to open up more sure. so than a modern yeah. whiskey does. Let's wait. It was behind this one, right? Yes. Yeah, so that'll be that and then yeah. this will be this will be this. Cool. Um so let's uh do a color comparo to start. This one seems the the old one seems like it has a little shade more bronze to it to me. Yeah. But like otherwise very similar. Maybe one one shade to the bronze side, slightly murkier, but otherwise very similar. Are you ready to nose? I like caught a whiff. Did you cheat? A yeah. little bit. Yeah. I caught a whiff and it has that thing that, that they all Scotch do hat. that they're like a little bit more whiny kind of a characteristic. Are you doing the old first? Or yeah. The... Oh, you're right. This one even has like a bit of a... Um... It's like caramel. It's like Ooh. a sweet citrus or something. This one actually, it smells pretty good. Okay, are we, so you're it's, on the, it's kind of mild, the old though. bells, right? I'm on old bells nosing. Okay, let's do that. It's got a really soft, delicate it's nose like to it. It's pretty sweet and nice, honestly. 
It's sweet and again to me it's got a it's got citrus notes that are bigger citrus, on it. Citrus, it's a little yeasty. A little bit let's, I'm going to rough it up a bit cuz we know I noticed the last couple times you yeah, uh, give like, it a little bit of a go. It, like give it a little bit of a head start of yeah. releasing some of those notes. But very mild, oh, yeah. I would say, like it's yeah. 40% it has it doesn't the... smell skunky it doesn't smell it honestly to me out of no, all of them so actually, far it smells like probably the most legit like authentic. one authentic yeah authentic to what it maybe was originally supposed to yeah. be like so this is very good news to start off the yeah. nose no issues on the nose okay let's get to the uh the new style the modern bells and it's just like so much Whoa. more like banana. I was gonna say banana like, was the first thing like that came malty to mind. kind of characteristic. It's like almost tropical fruit going mm -hmm. on. I'm gonna rough this one up too. That's interesting that you said banana because that was yeah. the first thing that came to mind. I'm like, can it be banana? Well, sometimes I find like these like the, that malt characteristic of a blend is kind of like mm. that nowadays. But yeah, I got an interesting kind of like tropical, but like a mesquite kind of thing. Yeah. Like the Hawaiian glazed something. pig. <laughs> yeah, like, like pineapple a, glazed. Pineapple glazed, like on the rotisserie. Rotisserie meats. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. But this, it's kind of <laughs> sweet too. Like it's, it's definitely, um, definitely is a sweet. Got a good. No, but, but you know what? We always find when we jump back and forth. That's oh, yeah. when you learn something. And this again has that weirdly. It like, has that. Old, like there's something about not just aged scotch but like literally old that yeah. came from a while ago yeah that has this weird multi um and like i don't know if it's this i think it's like the or... weird yeast characteristic like it's a little bit more i always say whiny but it's not quite a wine it's like there's a... a bit of a petroleum like a plastic note on it yeah which i've caught before too and and if this is authentically mm. um, not too tainted, yeah. you know, yeah, then um, original to what it was meant to yeah, be. Yeah, then it's like that's kind of the characteristics of what blended scotches were back let's, then. Let's give it a taste. Okay, let's try it. Here we go, and get ready to spit it out just in case. Oh yeah, it, right. It smells so pretty legit. So roll far. it around in your mouth for yeah. a little bit. Let some oxygen in, but don't swallow. Here we go. Okay. I swallowed. So did I. Drinks bigger than 40%, actually. I'm finding that with these. They, yeah, like, they all drink. They're like a little bit more they drink uh, big. fizzy or like effervescent or yeah. something. It is I... really tingling the front end of my tongue. Yeah. Hmm, that's not bad. When I had it going in my mouth before I swallowed it, there was this really light vanilla kind of note. Mm -hmm. But then when I swallowed it, it got way like bigger and like sizzlier and like... Mm -hmm. I, I think when you are like swishing it in, around in your mouth for a little bit, it's like like it can be the best quality or worst quality or whatever, but it still kind of like acts like mouthwash where you're like, it yeah. sizzles a little so, bit. So you know? I'm getting a little bit of a pencil shavings aftertaste. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Actually, now that I've sipped it again, I got Is it leady? a bit of a funky vibe on it, but not too bad. Is it the lead from the pencil that we're tasting? Maybe it's the lead from like... I don't know if we want to drink too the much lid. of that. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's try the uh, new one. Okay, new one? Newest one. Again, big banana. That's what she said. <laughs> mm. I mean, that's quite nice too. This one's very mellow. It's mellow. Like it's super mellow. quite sweet. Sweet, mellow. A bit on the... Like you said, kind of fruity side. Probably nose is better than it. <laughs> but it soft. does have that kind of like mesquite kind of, I wouldn't call it smoky, but it's like. No, but it's that thing that makes like a lot of non-Scotch drinkers coming to even something like this. Mm -hmm. Always think it's like, oh, it's so smoky or so yeah. like that, you know. Yeah, it's not peaty, but it's like. I don't know. It's got it's, it's, it's got some scotchy. Kind of, 
Really? It's scotchy. It's like, it's really like it's scotchy. The defining it's characteristic barley-ish. of what scotch is. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do a nose one more time on this one. So they're totally different. They are totally That's different. That's a fact. Yeah. They're like nothing alike. And the last little sip, I'm not going to go too in. in yeah, in, let's get uh, yeah. tiny. I want to survive. Yeah, we want to live through the night. Overall, not too bad. It has a little bit of a maybe a little, a little bit of a funk at the end there, but it's drinking quite big, so it doesn't mm-hmm. it, it doesn't seem like it's really like gotten a bunch of air in it or anything. Yeah. Or like I, I would say maybe the only downside is that it's a clear bottle, so if there was light, lots right, of light it could have been. Put in yeah. this, it's you know, but there wasn't the a whiskey a bit. There wasn't any kind of like. Um, like you know, like floaties. We've had or... bottles for like five years, and it's like they've gone to get bad. Scoogy. Yeah, like what was that one that we had? Was it a? We had a wild turkey eighty one that went super bad. We had an Elijah Craig. That That's went what it bad. was. The Elijah Craig, and it was like super cloudy. I think it was Elijah Craig twelve. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, they're totally different. Um, and even even in its a little bit of a metallic end to it, I find even these... in its skunkier state. Yeah. I think I would still pick the old one over the modern one. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's. I don't something... actually want to drink the rest of that glass right now because I'm kind of all of a sudden I'm kind of weirded out about it. One thing I find, I think, with these metal kind of toppers, mm. it has an influence. You know how like a cork must have an influence. Well, what like, about the shit inside there? Yeah, like, like that, and that, that like that... papery plastic waxy shit. Yeah, that's inside the cap, and this must be like pretty old because it's almost waxy compared to plastic yeah anyway yeah i find sometimes the you get a bit of an influence from the actual metal somewhat worrisome yeah anyway well very fun very cool thing to do yeah okay overall speaking i mean we're scared of it a little bit um (laughs) but it's still like initially tasted all right smells Um, good the new one tastes kind of not it's not my thing so no. still go with the old one, even yeah. though I'm scared of it. Yeah, if we could be guaranteed we would wake up with our vision and then stuff we'd like drink that. The rest then of it. Probably, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So anyways, it's been fun. Um let us know if you've had a weird old whiskey lately and uh click like, subscribe, leave that comment, and we will see you again soon. Cheers. You're drinking the old one? Yeah.